Hey everybody, Snoopalax here, and today we're going to be playing some Banjo-Kazooie in Donkey Kong 64 by Mark Kirko. This mod is part of his stay-at-home collection, and honestly, this is the mod I've been waiting for for a while. I've always wanted someone to mod Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 together. And part of the stay-at-home mod is the health is replaced by a toilet paper, which is pretty cool. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Oh, okay, that just takes us out. The Banjo-Kazooie stay-at-home mod has uh, Womp's Fortress, the Bomb Battlefield, Jolly Roger Bay, Donkey Kong Island, and Blue Resort from Bomberman 64. And uh, the music in this is really good, like, they captured the uh, Donkey Kong 64 uh, theme very, very well in the Banjo-Kazooie sound aesthetic. This just feels so surreal playing this right now, because Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 have such similar physics. It just seems like I'm going around as like a secret unlockable Kong in a sense. But yeah, I actually played uh, Donkey Kong 64 before I played Banjo-Kazooie. I grew up with Donkey Kong 64. I played through Donkey Kong 64 probably when I was around 8, and I didn't get Banjo-Kazooie until I was around like 15. It's very weird playing through this as Banjo. And Mark Kirkle did such a good job just making this model look good. Like, he did a lot of vertex painting. He posted a really good picture on Twitter just to show like all the work he did to make this model look really, really well. Is this going to take us to the lobby of Angry Aztec? Oh, it does. Got the lobby theme too. And break down all these doors. So yeah, this mod is pretty much just going to be the hub world. And, uh... There's going to be a lot of memorable locations from Donkey Kong 64 in this game too. Another really impressive thing is, uh... I'm playing this on, like, actual hardware right now. Like, through an actual Nintendo 64 via an EverDrive, so... It's running perfectly on console. This just honestly just seems so surreal to me. Oh, that's a pretty cool breakable wall. Oh, we got Cranky's lab right here. Yeah, so Cranky's lab is mumbo. Fittingly. Alright, nothing up here. I learned from playing other Banjo Kazooie hacks that I'm gonna be really careful with my eggs here. I remember when I was playing through the Jolly Roger Bay section, I used up, like, every egg on the map, and I had to, like, restart the level, so... I'm gonna really try to be conservative with my eggs this time. Because my goal is to beat this without dying once. That's always my goal when I play these mods. Especially because the notes don't save in uh, Banjo-Kazooie. They save in Banjo-Kazooie on the Xbox version, but, uh... They never saved on the 64 version. They saved in Banjo-Tooie, though, I'm pretty sure, in both versions. Really cool little sub-area here. Really cool that they got the Angry Aztec Lobby. He got the lighting perfectly. I cannot stress this enough. Just because you can get the model for a level, getting the lighting down is so hard, and this level looks, like, just perfect. Like, honestly, this looks exactly how it would in Donkey Kong 64. Break this boulder. So we already got access to a flight pad, which is cool. Oh, actually, okay, I gotta be more careful with my feathers here. Oh, we got DK here chilling in the water. Hey, Harry, give us a jiggy. Sorry, Kazooie. I'm fresh out, I'm just taking a bath before I go play that DK Junior arcade game I saw on K. Rule Island. Ooh, we should go give that a try. One thing that's really cool, and is really smart by Mark Kirkle, is in the Banjo-Kazooie modding community, getting custom characters, they never really figured out how to animate them. There's one person that animated ukulele, which was really cool. The Banjo-Kazooie editor that we have right now doesn't allow for custom animations, but Mark Kirkle does a really cool job uh, making characters seem lively even if they're not. So since he was unable to animate Donkey Kong, having him in a leisurely position here 
in the water makes it so that you don't really have to animate him and he still looks somewhat realistic. But yeah, having characters like on a rafter, that's one way to do it without animations. Or having them sleeping or something or laying down, that's another way to make it like fit better. It'd be cool if one day we could get custom animations for characters in Banjo-Kazooie, but uh, it's not needed that much, especially when there's like clever workarounds like we just saw. Another Mumbo token? Let's check out uh, K. Rool's ship over here. The way that this uh, top is on, I honestly think that this might uh, like move off a little bit later. See uh, the Jungle Japes lobby here. Another cool thing, because usually there would be a boulder there that uh, Chunky would have to move for a pad to get a banana. Alright, another cool area. I make sure I get all these notes, climb every tree. Okay, we got Congo up here. He's the one making all the noise. So I think he's just here for the Donkey Kong theme, and uh, I don't think we're going to be able to take him out just because I didn't see any sort of arm switches, but definitely a fitting character to have for uh, this mod. Check out the Banana Fairy Island. Okay, yeah, so we can't quite squeeze in this entrance, but... I wonder if he's gonna make this back thing an entrance. That would be the perfect entrance for a Mumble transformation. Once we transform with Mumble, we'll have to head back there. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Alright, let's go to the Gloomy Galleon entrance here. Because I recently just played through uh, Donkey Kong 64 again. I think I got up to uh, Crystal Caves, but I played a mod where you could switch Kongs anywhere, and being able to switch Kongs anywhere made the game so much more enjoyable. Like, In my opinion, I think Donkey Kong 64 is a great game. It's just it's obviously held back by having to switch Kongs constantly, but with that new mod, it works on actual hardware, and you can switch Kongs anywhere, and it gets rid of a lot of the backtracking. So if you're wanting to play Donkey Kong 64 again, I highly recommend checking out that mod. Oh sweet, okay, there is actually a Jiggy over here. Actually, let's uh, visit K. Lumsy first, or where K. Lumsy would be. Oh sweet, we got a switch that raises that. That's actually super smart to use that for there. That was very a very clever thing for Mark to do there. Because yeah, that thing, uh, the item just works perfectly. Yeah, this is gated off. It seems like we'll be able to open that gate through something in this game. I got another Mumbo token. Okay, so he actually modeled this thing right here, because usually you'd use a vine to swing by. And now we have another flight pad there that we could use, but... I just want to scale it normally to make sure that I get everything. Alright, let's check out the Frantic Factory entrance here. Oh, that's going to be locked to, uh the mumbo transformation also. Right, well, I've done most of the things I could do here, I think. It's the only other thing I could really do would be uh, to use this flight pad to go out to the hideout helm area. Let's see what's in the crown here. Alright, so we got our first Jinjo. It's cool that we can actually go up here, because usually in the game, uh, 
Diddy has a jetpack. Well, you can't use your jetpack over here, so you're never actually able to, like, get to the crown. I'm sure you could get to the crown with glitches and stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Alright, hideout helm is blocked off too right now. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to open those gates later, or if it's blocked off for good. Okay, sweet, so we do have something in here. We got a honeycomb switch. Alright, nice, that one. Be too bad to get. Alright, we got a mumbo -mo token right at the top here. Sweet, it's able to get that. Alright, let's see, can we go to the fungi forest lobby? Yeah, we can. Alright, this one seems like it has a lot of stuff to do, so... Got our 11th mumbo token. Because what's kind of ironic is uh, Fungi Forest was originally supposed to be a uh, Banjo-Kazooie level, and in Banjo-Kazooie it was called Fungus Forest. There's actually somebody making a Fungi Forest in Banjo-Kazooie mod specifically that looks really cool. I'm excited for when that finally releases, that'll be a cool hack. We got this area here which has, oh, another Jinjo. Still missing two Jinjos. Probably about time that we go and transform. Oh, we get to be the bee. We got frantic factory entrance here. Oh, that's cool. They have uh, an insert G thing here. Oh, that's so cool. You got Mark Kirkle's logo, the Nintendo 64 logo, and uh, blueprints from Snide. Oh, that's sick. So that opens this room all the way. That and that. Oh, okay, that is so cool. Oh, sweet, they even have a spot so we can quickly transform back. Oh, that's so clever. Now we should be able to just break this down. Maybe not. Alright. Alright, sweet. So many cool little puzzles in this. Let's check out K-Lumsy's place here. Alright, we got a lot of stuff here, so we got the DK key. It's kind of grim, that's kind of like, looks like Kalumzi's skull there. So now we got this DK battle crown here. Oh, okay. This. Here, I'll, uh, I'll do this the easy way, I guess. Hopefully I didn't use too many items during that fight, but... If one of them were to hit me off the edge, though, that would have been horrible. Right, another Jiggy. I'm gonna take a leap of fate. Hopefully this just takes me back. Please. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's good game design. Alright, let's check out uh, that hideout helm area up there now. Oh, so uh, we got this cool room here. We got a horde of bananas. Yes, it's K Rule's room. Okay, sweet. So this should open up uh, 
Oh, that's so cool. The final fight now, too. No, I am honestly, I'm so impressed by this mod so far. Like, Mark Kirko is just... Every mod that he makes always amazes me. Let's, let's check out some Easter eggs here. So we got the Donkey Kong 64 Jungle Green uh, Nintendo 64 pack. Got these DK barrels. We got this... Uh, another Jiggy here. Got these Rambi... Rambi rails over here. Yeah, we got the Donkey Kong Country box set. Mark Kirko N. And if we look at the security footage here. Oh, that's cool. He actually put a scrolling texture there to make it look legit. No signal. The DK Arcade. DK Arcade, Dixie Kong, Rambi, Cranky. Oh, <laughs> Funky Chunky from the DK rap. Bit of Viva Pinata. Got a Conquer reference there. Another Cranky reference. Oh, okay, that is so cool. Security camera system. Okay, let's check out this Donkey Kong Jr. arcade machine. Okay, and cool, we have DK Jr. I actually played a lot of Donkey Kong Jr. as a kid. Believe this or not, this sounds insane, but I actually played it for the e-reader of all things. Yeah, I had an e-reader growing up, and I had the uh, cards for this game. Gotta be really careful, because that might be bottomless pits down there. Uh, okay. Alright, that is such a cool little sub area there. Okay, so just exit. A lot of these textures right now, they might seem a little bit blurry, because, but that's because I'm playing on actual console. If you were playing on, the, on an emulator, obviously these textures would look a lot more clear. Alright, so we got the Banana Fairy, which is just a Jinjo <laughs> we can collect. That's super cool. You can scale pretty much any object, so that's just cool that he was able to scale up that Jinjo like that. And this wall obviously seems like it should be breakable, but... Okay, so yeah, we have this secret area here, where I think this will just let us transform back to Banjo-Kazooie. I think that's what this pot does. Make sure there's nothing on the ceiling here. Okay, that's really cool! I don't think those pots appeared in-game. Maybe, maybe they did. camera angle here. Now we will be able to break this down. And sweet, we got the golden banana. The rare we're golden banana. Yeah, that is sick. Wow. What's this? More useless golden stuff, I guess. You two found my secret golden banana. Congrats. Alright, that is very, very cool. And actually, I'm pretty sure that was the ice key, technically. So I think we're gonna have the ice key menu now. Yeah, the ice key menu with the golden banana. That is sick. It's such a clever thing to do. All right, last area. We got this epic uh, soundtrack. K roll is just done already. Oh, there's the last four notes. Okay, cool. That is so smart for him to have uh, the stars going around his head. What a what a good idea, and to have K Roll's model like passed out like this, just the stars around his head to me is just so clever. And he even edited the audience to have a custom audience, which is uh, got like toads and goombas and birdos and stuff. That very very cool.
I thought I heard a Jinjo here, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I think I'm missing a room on uh, K. Rool's ship here. Yeah, this room right over here. Well, actually, this usually wouldn't be a room. I think it's just a banana that's usually caged up, caged up around there. Okay, cool. We have a... Uh, looks like it's going to be a quiz or something. SCS 4962127. Oh! Yeah, I think I got it. So, security camera system. 4962127. Because the security camera had... Uh, the security camera when I get up there. First one is Dixie. So four, nine. The okay, next one is Cranky. Six. Six is Chunky. Two. Two's Cranky again. Twelve. Twelve is Donkey Kong. And then seven. It's Cranky again. Unless it's Cranky twice, because the original Donkey Kong was Cranky and that didn't count. Okay, that's it. That was a really cool puzzle there. I did not think that security camera footage was going to be used for something else. Oh wait, yeah, Jinjo's right there, perfect. We got everything in this mod here. Did it just under an hour. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Obviously, insane shout outs to Mark Kirkle for making this mod. He did another just amazing job. And if you could leave a like or maybe even subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I just launched merch here, so I got like Snoop Black sweaters and t shirts if you're interested in that. I hope that you guys all have a great day.